My name is Jamie Ryan and I am the nonprofit coordinator for Atlas MedStaff. Last year we did a canned food drive and did a canned food sculpture challenge where all the teams um, gather their cans and put together a sculpture. It was a, a big success. We ended up having over 3,500 cans um, of food that we were able to donate to the Food Bank of the Heartland. Um, so we decided to do it again this year and it was a, just a huge success. Uh, I think our teams ended up with over 7,000 cans, like 7,200 cans that we were able to donate to the food bank, which represents 6,000 pounds of food. Um, we always try to have a celebrity judge, which is kind of fun. So last year, our recruiter, Sydney Lamberty, her um, fiance is Nikki Lopez, who is a major league baseball player. So he was our celebrity judge, which made it fun because then the, the sculptures kind of took on, a lot of them took on a baseball theme. So this year, our celebrity judge was Terrence Crawford, um, who's a professional boxer. So that really made it fun. As you can see, you'll see in the pictures that we had some like boxing ring. Um, he's an avid fisherman. So one of the teams did the Bud Crawfish. Um, so, so that really uh, put a kind of a fun spin on it. Seeing how everyone comes together, their creativity, their teamwork, even on the last day when it was time to tear everything down, seeing everyone who's, who's very busy, who have a really busy job, but gave up that time to come and help disassemble and box everything up. And then once the um, food bank arrived, gave up their time to go help load everything up. We had Elizabeth Porter brought her sons in and those boys were so hard working. They had the day off school and they came and volunteered and it, it just was a fantastic experience. Uh, so Bud Crawford uh, was our judge and he just really took his job seriously. I think he really puzzled over uh, how to make the decision on who was who was going to be first and second place and he ended up having a tie. The um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots and the Bud Crawfish tied for first place and so then he said whoever had the most cans then that would be the tiebreaker and so that's how the Bud Crawfish ended up winning but we just really appreciate how gracious he was with um, giving up his time um, to help us out with this. This was a great experience and we look forward to doing it um, again next year and we'll see if we can beat the 7200 camps.